In this lesson, we'll take a look at brush expressions in more detail. Expressions link your physical input to the brush properties. For example, an expression could be pen pressure. You can press down firmly with your pen, or you can draw very lightly. The angle or rotation of the pen can also be an expression. You can utilize one or more expressions to manipulate the shape, appearance, and behavior of your brushes along a stroke. Many of the brushes in Painter already have one or more expressions applied. Most commonly, size will be controlled by pen pressure. Expressions enhance the experience of working with digital art tools by enabling you to make more expressive marks on the canvas. Not only does it feel more natural to work this way, expressions can also help brush strokes look more natural as well. There are even expressions that randomize properties to create unique effects. In order to use an expression, you'll need to choose a brush and a brush property to manipulate. I'll choose the default pens scratch board. Most panels will have one or more expressions that relate to the properties they're grouped with. For example, the size panel. The size expression is already set to pressure. So if I make a bigger brush and start painting with very light pressure, I'll get a very thin line. As I start to increase my pressure, you can see the line gets thicker. Let's turn that expression off and see what happens. Now, regardless of how firmly I'm pressing, the line is a consistent width. The size is no longer controlled by an expression. Expressions can also be inverted by clicking on the small icon to the right of an expression. For example, I can invert the size pressure expression. And now when I press firmly, the line is thinner. I'll reset this brush. While it doesn't make sense with the size property, inverting expressions is sometimes necessary to get the right feel from your brushes. Don't overlook this small but powerful feature. Let's set the size expression to velocity. I'll paint a really slow stroke, followed by a really fast stroke. You can see that when the stroke is slower, the line width is thicker and more consistent. When I paint faster, the line gets a very thin tapering. If you're having trouble creating tapered lines with pressure, this is an alternative way to do it. Velocity is one of a few expressions that works with a mouse so I can get an expressive looking mark even without pen pressure. Obviously pressure and tilt expressions are not going to work with a mouse, but you can simulate their effects by going to the mouse panel, which can be found in the general brush controls palette drawer. As we looked at in an earlier lesson, these controls allow you to manually set the strength of each expression for use with the mouse input. Let's change the size expression to direction. When direction is enabled, the brush size will vary depending on which direction the stroke is headed. If I paint vertically, the stroke is thinner, and if I paint horizontally, it's thicker. A diagonal stroke creates something in between. This expression also works with a mouse. Wheel works alongside the Wacom Airbrush Pen, which has a physical wheel that can control a property such as the flow of the paint. For instance, you could slow down the flow of the paint coming out of the brush with the wheel, or dial it up to increase the flow. See the lesson about the airbrush properties for a reminder of how this works. Next is the tilt expression. When you tilt your pen, the angle of the pen to the canvas can control a brush property. If I make my cursor really big, then you can see the angle of my pen represented in the cursor. That line in the middle shows that my pen is pretty much upright now. But if I change the angle, the line responds in real time. If my brush size is connected to tilt, when my pen is upright, the line I draw is thinner. If I tilt my pen in any direction, the line I draw gets thicker. A better use of tilt would be to control the angle of a flat dab. The next expression is bearing. I'll select the thick paint palette knife, called heavy loaded. Similar to the tilt expression, tilting the pen changes the angle of the cursor, which allows me to rotate the edge of the palette knife. Rather than the tilt angle of the pen, bearing is going to adjust the brush property depending on the direction that the pen tip is pointing. Bearing is similar to tilt, but there is a key difference. Tilt is only measured in two dimensions, from the minimum to maximum pen angle in relation to the tablet. Bearing is in azimuth, which adds another dimension, the angle of the pen to the tablet from minimum to maximum, plus the direction the pen is pointing, north, south, east, or west. To demonstrate the difference, I'll select a particle's thin brush, called 
furry sprayer. If I tilt my pen, I can spray the fur particles in a specific direction, away from the pen tip. And if I change the angle of the pen, the fur becomes shorter or longer. If I look in the particles common panel and change the direction from bearing to tilt, you can see that tilting the pen does change the angle of the fur particles, but it's out of sync with the direction the pen is pointing. To further illustrate the effect of bearing in a brush stroke, I'll choose the soft 2B pencil, set the paper to basic paper, and I'll set the angle expression to tilt. I'll angle my pen upward and make a horizontal stroke. Next, I'll angle my pen downward and I'll make another stroke. You can see that the fading edge on the stroke is on the bottom in both examples. Now, if I change the angle expression to bearing and paint a stroke tilted up and a stroke tilted down, you can see that I'm able to rotate the angle of the dab in addition to tilting it to make the mark wider. In most cases, if you want to tilt your pen to change the stroke, you'll want to choose bearing. Many of painters' brushes can use tilt, so keep an eye on the brush cursor because it will indicate whether or not the tilt of your pen will affect the shape of your brush. Not all pens support pen tilt. The Wacom Pro Pens and the Wacom One can, and there are even some Wacom alternatives that do as well. The next expression, rotation, is perhaps the most underrated expression in digital art. There's only one pen I know of that supports rotation, and that is the Wacom Art Pen. I'll make a large brush, and you can see there's this little dot on my cursor that indicates the rotation angle. If I rotate the barrel of my pen, the dot revolves around the cursor. It will be easier to see how this expression works if I pick a brush that has a flat dab. So I'll return to the Thick Paint Palette Knives heavily loaded brush, and then I'll look in the angle panel and set the expression from bearing to rotation. Now when I rotate my pen, it's clear how it affects the angle of the dab. If I paint a test stroke with rotation enabled, you can see that I can paint strokes that are thin, wide, and everything in between simply by rotating my pen. You might be thinking, big deal, you can rotate your dab, but don't discount the usefulness of the rotation expression. After all, think about how many varieties of traditional brushes have a flat edge. There's a reason why the fan brush exists. In my opinion, the rotation expression is incredibly valuable, 